Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. I'm Cameron. This week we're joined by casually competitive, playing with power, and the spike feeders. So we all decided to bring our personal decks, and we have Advantage Thrasios, Kalamex Storm, Food Chain Sliver, and Urza Stacks. Real quick, if you want to check out games two and three, they'll be available for our Patreons on the first of the month. Begin! So hard. Mana Confluence, tap it for a Noble Hot Error. The pass. Draw for my turn. Bird and Catacombs. Crack it, going to 39. Tropical Island, and I will cast a Land Oro. Draw. Pay to life and Jataxian Probe, name. All right, I got him. I'll draw a card. In the play of Wooded Foothills, crack it for Tropical Island, and then cast Noble Hire. I will draw Inventor's Fair. One for Pithing Needle. I'm gonna name Thrasios. Play a Mishra's Bobble. Pass the turn. Oh, that's such a bummer. Draw a card. Allosaurus Shepherd. Guy's Cradle. Tap Guy's Cradle for two green mana and cast Talisman of Curiosity. I will tap that in the Mana Confluence and cast a 1 3 that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> right now! But maybe one day he will do something. Pass turn. That's my least favorite thing about these Thrasios decks. The deck has become so synergistic over the past few months that it is incredibly powerful when Thrasios is out. But if Thrasios isn't working, so much of the deck just doesn't do anything. I have so much mana already on turn two, and I can just tell it's already not going anywhere because of that Pithing Needle. All right, I'm going to untap. <laughs> I love it. Crack this Arid Mesa going down to 38. Volcanic Island. Cast a Sylvan Library. And then I am done. Draw. Cast Preordain. Yep. Right, two. One to the top, one to the bottom. Card. Play a Tarnished Citadel. Tefra Green cast Lenore Elves. I will pass. On your end step, Mishra's Bobble. I will look at. Still, let me look at the top of your library. Ready? Three, two, oh, one. Good. Yep, I got it. You're good. Untap. I'll draw a card on my upkeep to Mishra's. Draw for turn. This keeps getting worse, man. <laughs> we'll go. Darksteel Citadel. Tormart's Crypt, I'll pass the turn. Look at my turn. Verdant Catacomb. Seven mana's a lot. He has so much mana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm super pissed about that pithing needle. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just trying to figure out the how to deal with At it. least I got a little <laughs> lucky with this hand. <laughs> Since he's divine cop. Tap guy's cradle for three green mana. Mana confluence for one blue. Cast a spell seeker with one green floating. I'm going to get Cyclonic Rift. I really quickly want to talk about my Spellseeker target there. Um, Spellseeker is kind of the glue that holds a lot of these decks together sometimes because it lets, it lets you turn your tutors into different things and it lets you go different paths in different directions. And I don't have Nature's Claim in my deck right now. If I did, I think that would have been an easy tutor target for the Spellseeker so I could get rid of that Pithing Needle. Instead, I chose to go for the Cyclonic Rift. Since my artifact enchantment removal is Force of Vigor, I can't get it with Spellseeker. So my only real way to get it is to Spellseeker for Mystical Tutor and then Mystical Tutor for Force of Vigor. And that's just too long and too many steps, I think. So Cyclonic Rift is the next best bet. Um, but really, I would have rather tutored for a Nature's Claim here. Going forward, I'm kind of keeping that in mind that I do you want your spell seeker to be live for every type of removal that you would need in your deck? I'm not sure if it's necessary, but it felt like it would have been very helpful here. I mean, you certainly seem to be much more ahead on board than everyone else. This is the first time that I'm seeing this game. So um, it certainly seems like you are significantly farther ahead than the rest of this table here, especially after getting a Psych Rift. Yeah, it, but I think it's important to note that I'm running out of cards very quickly, and Pithing Needle shuts off the entire deck. Without Thrasios, all this mana doesn't go anywhere. I have one green mana floating from the guy's cradle. I'm going to use it to activate top again. We'll leave him just like that. Do I have any attacks here? Nate! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right here. Let's, uh, let's send two your way as a message, you know? Then I'm going to pass my turn. Uh, I'm going to untap. Sylvan Library. I'm just gonna take eight. <laughs> eight snow covered forest. Cast a carpet of flowers. I'm gonna move to combat. Move to my second main phase. I'm gonna add a red. Cast a dockside extortionist. Yeah, I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll ditch it. Who's Gregor? It's gonna be Zach. I'll activate since he's binding top man. Draw card. Put top on top. Okay. Cash these in. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna cast brainstorm. Two back, play a Morphic Pool, cast Extract, targeting myself. I'm gonna be casting a Mana Crypt, extracting a Eternal Scourge, and then I'll pass the turn. Draw. All right, I gotta pass. Draw a card. Nate, I'm gonna come at you with Allosaurus Shepherd. One Exalted Trigger, so two damage. And then I'm just gonna pass my turn. Untap, uh, Sylvan Library. 
Fantastic Four. I'm gonna play this snow-covered island. Cast a wilderness reclamation. Move to combat, Dylan. I will declare no blocks. For second main phase, I'm gonna add a red. I'm just gonna pass the turn trigger on my end step, untap my land. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt trigger. It's on number. Drop the turn. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. Drop the turn. Yep, pass one. All right, well, there's never been a more telegraph played than this one. I'll make four <laughs> mana with the guy's cradle. Overload, cyclonic rift. I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, you, you have to reuse your dock side, though. <laughs> yeah, but I like I can't recast my dock side if we lose the game. So I'm going to cast Metamorphose. Trigger Calamax. Oh, that's very good. So I'm going to make blue, blue, and draw a card. Then I'm going to make blue, blue again, and draw another card. Bluster Storm. Stinking. I have a response. I'll fetch. So I don't have a veil, but I do have my own Fluster Storm. One of them at each of your Fluster Storms, and then the fourth one is at another one of the Fluster Storms. Okay, so just as a heads up, uh, I do have three blue mana floating. Oh, right. That's right. You do have three blue mana floating. That's right that you do have that. Well, do you want okay. to use your mana? <laughs> yeah, I will, I will pay, pay for two of them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, it's countered. Untap. The pity thing you don't live, son. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> Draw a card. Oh, uh, just as a point of order, because it's going to come up, I actually get three more counters on Calamax. I'm going to cast Neoform, and as an additional cost, I will sacrifice Thrasios. I'm going to get Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness will come in with a plus one, plus one counter, and an ETB trigger that will target Cyclonic Rift. Unfortunately, I have six mana here, so I can't overload Rift again right away, which would just be so perfect. Cast a four mana Thrasios with one green floating. Cast a Sensei's Divine Top. I'm going to look at the top three right now. I'm going to click this and pass my turn. End of your turn, I'm gonna tap this for a blue and cast Thought Scour. Target Zach twice, triggering Calamax. First one will resolve, I'll mill Necropotence Plunder. Second one will resolve, I'll mill Fluster Storm, Misty Rainforest. I'm gonna untap, draw for Sylvan, put one back. A main swift team. Tap this for a blue, <clears throat> and I will main phase this mystical tutor. So I'm gonna put Frantic Search on top of my library. Cast Overmaster. Draw this Frantic Search. Then I'm gonna go to combat. We're gonna send nine at Dylan. No blocks. That's 13 Calamax damage. Second main phase, I will add a red with my Carpet of Flowers. Rack this Windswept Heath going to 21. Taiga, I'm gonna add a green, add a blue, cast Frantic Search, draw two, and discard two. I'm gonna cast a Bloom Tender. I need everybody to be calm for a second. I'm gonna cast this Lion's Eye Diamond. I'm gonna cast a Grape Shot, and the storm count is six. If I did my math correctly, and this is seven damage to deal out, we're gonna kill the Noble Hierarch and the Llanowar Elf on Zack's board, the Spell Seeker, the Noble Hierarch, the Allosaurus Rider, and the Eternal Witness, or Allosaurus Shepherd, and the Eternal Witness on Dylan's side, and I believe that's seven. I will float blue-green mana. Six more counters on the Calamax. The tide really burned. Attacked Calamax is very scary, and when you're able to untap all of your lands with Wilderness Reclamation so that you can do Calamax things, uh, you, you guys are gonna have to watch out for him. Yeah, Jan definitely just pushed himself big far ahead. Pass my turn and untap my lands. So at the beginning of your end step, Wilderness Wreck trigger on the stack. I have an action. Chain of Vapor targeting Calamax. Yeah, I have no effects to that. I believe I will copy it, and I'm going to target my Dockside Extortionist with the copy. Yep. Out of my turn. Tap upkeep draw. Cast an Elves of Deep Shadow. Oh, sorry. Mana Crypt trigger on my upkeep. I take three damage and pass the turn. Drop a turn. I have seven cards in hand. I don't have to discard yet. I'll pass my turn. <laughs> and cast a Biomancer's from there. Send one damage at Nate. Yes, sir, I'll take it. Activate top and look at the top with one green floating. I'm going to activate top and draw a card. Play a land for turn. Pass my turn. On tap. Draw three for Sylvan Library. Just take four. Cast Dockside Extortionist. A carpet for a red. Four. Cast Faithless Living. Two. I'm going to discard Mental Misstep and uh, Ketria Trial. Cast Ral Storm Conduit. Uh, I'm going to take down Ral. Finale of Promise, Exorcist <laughs> 3. Ral Trigger, Frantic Search, and Overmaster. It's going to be Metamorphose and Grape Shot. Frantic Search, draw 2. I'm going to discard Twinning Staff and Rhythm of the Wild. And then Overmaster, draw 
third. Then we'll cast Metamorphose. I'm gonna make two red. Then I'm gonna cast Grape Shot with the storm count at seven. Eight Ral triggers. I have eight to do from the Grape Shot, and then I have 12 from Ral. I'm just gonna deal you 20. Fine, fine, it's totally fine. <laughs> I'm gonna flashback Faithless Looting to deal one damage to Dylan, Ral. These life totals I did after the fact because we had to film not on spell table. It was a, a little bit of shit show. It doesn't matter. But so the life totals that I have are not the life totals that we had. I think in person I missed a mana confluence trigger or two. I had myself a 20. He, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. I'm pretty sure that was enough to kill me. At this point, Jana has gone has taken way too much advantage and has completely gone off the hinges that I don't think that one damage made too much of a difference. But I think he did the math correctly and, and dealt me proper that much damage. I don't really know. I might regret this at the end, but I'm going to discard Calamax, the command zone, and I'm going to discard Force of Will. I have four cards in hand. I'm going to cast a Spell Seeker. I'm going to have Mana Drain. That will be my turn. I have a trigger on my end step to untap my land. I'll untap upkeep mana crypt trigger, damage on odds, draw, play a savannah, I guess I have to pass. Alright, here we go. Alright, time to discard, we're, we're there. <laughs> I know, I don't know. Static orb to the graveyard, pass turn. So on your end step, I'm gonna cast Noxious Revival, and I'm gonna deal one to Zach. Thought scour. <laughs> he obviously should have done that before discard happened. We're moving quickly, we're at the end of the game and we can feel it. Take eight. Walk through route. Put that to the bottom. Cast a Thought Scour, and I'm gonna mill Zach too. Food chain and marsh flats. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna deal you one with Rao. Room tender is gonna add three to cast Thrill of Possibilities. And deal Zach one. Discard this uh, snow covered mountain. Land for turn. Cast Calamax. Cast a turn. Upkeep and a yep. triggers. Damage. Draw. I'll play a Scalding Tarn. Whatever. I'm gonna take four damage. Cast the first sliver. Cascade trigger. Keep going. Foresight. I will cast Foresight. And then I'm gonna mana drain the sliver. Yeah, that's fine. One damage off of Ral. Also, Zach. I'm gonna exile Squeezy Immortal, Missile Griffin, and Plunge into Darkness. Pass the turn. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Let's see. Let's see it. <sighs> How appropriate. Buried Ruin! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pass turn. Untap. Go with one, because I'm at nine. Play this Prismatic Vista. Crack this Prismatic Vista. We'll go to eight. Go grab a basic mountain. I'll tick up to Scry with Rao. that on the bottom. Move to combat. Attack Zack for four. Second main phase, add carpet mana, pass the turn. Crack scolding turn at the end of your turn. Lose the five colorless mana as well. Get a watery grave tapped. Mana crypt trigger on my upkeep. Take three, draw. I'll lose four life and I'll cast the first sliver. Cascade trigger. Demonic consultation. Demonic consultation on the stack. Cast reverberate. Targeting demonic consultation, triggering Calamax, creating the loop. Calamax copies reverberate. The copy copies reverberate. The reverberate copy then copies the copy of reverberate and just makes a big chain That's and then Rao kills yeah. everybody i'm going to cast swan song targeting the reverberate copy i am going to deflecting swat the swan song to target the deflecting swat thank god okay <laughs> i got nothing man this is a weird deck so if you didn't really catch exactly what happened there jan cast reverberate copying the demonic consultation and then calamax copies the reverberate the copy of Reverberate copies Reverberate. That new copy of Reverberate copies Reverberate. And this keeps on going back and forth, copying copies of Reverberate back and forth forever as Ral is on the battlefield, dealing a point of damage to each opponent every time a spell is copied. You know how you say one word over and over and over again and it just starts on... <laughs> So weird. It doesn't sound like a word anymore. Reverberate, reverberate, reverberate. This deck is really cool. I think the uh, the Calamex Stormsire deck is, is really sweet. I think it's hilarious that it can win at instant speed like this too. Your opponent thinks that he's gonna do something that's really gonna put him ahead here and then all of a sudden, nope. Big shout out to Spike Feeders, casually competitive and playing with power for helping us do this and setting this up. If you want to see games two and three of this matchup here, we did record some and they'll be going up for our $20 Patreons on the first of December.
Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. Check out our bonfire store for all of our merch. If you'd like to pick up any of the cards you saw today, we have a TCG Player affiliate link down below. If you use that, we'll get a small kickback. We have our tokens still available for the treasure tokens. You can still email a Black Lives Matter donation receipt to playtowinmtg at gmail.com. Otherwise, you can check out our awesome spirit, vampire, and bird tokens at our website. We also have a podcast. If you'd like to check it out on Spotify and iTunes or on the YouTube channel, you can do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.